I began making prints first as a student at Howard University in the 1950s, and I was studying with the gentleman we call the Dean of African American Printmakers at that time, a man by the name of James L. Wells, who was teaching at Howard. It was a part of the curriculum, of course, and I suspect at that young age I didn't really know so much about what I was doing as just following the crowd, knowing that I had to pursue that course in order to graduate. Evidently, it had a great deal of uh, meaning for me because I continued to work as a printmaker uh, after I graduated uh, from Howard in 1955. And so I started working on my own. And over the years, I amassed all of these prints, you know, very often doing woodcuts, doing lino cuts, and uh, carving uh, into the wood, into the linoleum block, and doing one print, uh, never editioning these prints. And so, um, 30 years later, I look back, here are all these blocks, some of which I had done only one print of. A few I'd do two or three or something like that. And so I never put the block aside. I did a few etchings in between. Um, printmaking was always in the back of my mind, but I never thought of myself as a printmaker. And then, of course, 30, 40 years later, now five decades later, somebody says, you know, all these prints you've done, you really ought to have a retrospective. You ought to let us see what you've done. So some of the blocks we had to print for the very first time because the old uh, artist proofs, some of them had deteriorated. But I had quite a few of them that were still in pretty good condition. The Owl being amongst them, was printed in the 1950s. I think Red Still Life and a few others. So I never looked upon myself as a printmaker, but everybody else did because they always saw these things that I was doing. So it kind of caught my fancy that 